In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. These are the sons of David who were born in Hebron. The oldest was Amnon, whose mother was Ahinoam from Jezreel. The second was Daniel, whose mother was Abigail from Carmel. The third was Absalom, whose mother was Makah, the daughter of Talmai, king of Geshur. The fourth was Adonijah, whose mother was Hagith. The fifth was Shephatiah, whose mother was Abital. The sixth was Ithraim, whose mother was Egla, David's wife. These six sons were born to David in Hebron, where he reigned seven and a half years. Then David reigned another thirty-three years in Jerusalem. The sons born to David in Jerusalem included Shammua, Shobab, Nathan, and Solomon. Their mother was Bathsheba, the daughter of Amiel. David also had nine other sons, Ibar, Elishua, Elpelet, Noga, Nepheg, Japhia, Elishama, Eliada, and Eliphelet. These were the sons of David, not including his sons born to his concubines. Their sister was Tamar. The descendants of Solomon were Rehoboam, Abijah, Asa, Jehoshaphat, Jehoram, Ahaziah, Joash, Amaziah, Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, Hezekiah, Manasseh, Ammon, and Josiah. The sons of Josiah were Johanan, the oldest, Jehoiakim, the second, Zedekiah, the third, and Jehoahaz, the fourth. The successors of Jehoiakim were his sons Jehoiachin and his brother Zedekiah. The sons of Jehoiachin, who was taken prisoner by the Babylonians, were Shealtiel, Malkiram, Pediah, Shenazar, Jechamia, Hoshama, and Nedabiah. The sons of Pediah were Zerubbabel and Shimei. The sons of Zerubbabel were Meshulam and Hananiah. Their sister was Shelomith. His five other sons were Hashuba, Ohel, Berechiah, Hasadiah, and Jushab Hesed. The sons of Hananiah were Pelatia and Jeshiah. Jeshiah's son was Rephiah. Rephiah's son was Arnon. Arnon's son was Obadiah. Obadiah's son was Shechaniah. The descendants of Shechaniah were Shemaiah and his sons, Hattush, Igal, Bariah, Neariah, and Shaphat, six in all. The sons of Neariah were Elioenai, Hizkiah, and Azricam, three in all. The sons of Elioenai were Hodaviah, Eliashib, Peliah, Akub, Yohanan, Deliah, and Anani, seven in all. The descendants of Judah were Perez, Hezron, Kami, Hur, and Shobal. Shobal's son Reiah was the father of Jahath. Jahath was the father of Ahumai and Lahad. These were the families of the Zorathites. The descendants of Etam were Jezreel, Ishma, Idbash, their sister Hazel el Poni, Penuel, the father of Gidor, and Izer, the father of Husha. These were the descendants of Hur, the firstborn of Ephratha, the ancestor of Bethlehem. Ashur, the father of Tekoa, had two wives named Hela and Nara. Nara gave birth to Ahuzam, Hefer, Temeni, and Hahashtari. Hela gave birth to Zereth, Ijar, Ethnan, and Koz, who became the ancestor of Anub, Sobebar, and all the families of Ahahel, son of Harum. There was a man named Jabez, who was more honorable than any of his brothers. His mother named him Jabez, because his birth had been so painful. He was the one who prayed to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and expand my territory. Please be with me in all that I do, and keep me from all trouble and pain. And God granted him his request. 
Caleb, the brother of Shuha, was the father of Mehir. Mehir was the father of Eshton. Eshton was the father of Beth Rapha, Pasia, and Tehina. Tehina was the father of Ian Nahash. These were the descendants of Reka. The sons of Kenaz were Othniel and Seraiah. Othniel's sons were Hathath and Meonathai. Meonathai was the father of Ophra. Seraiah was the father of Joab, the founder of the Valley of Craftsmen, so called because they were craftsmen. The sons of Caleb, son of Jephunneh, were Iru, Elah, and Nam. The son of Elah was Kenaz. The son of Jehalalel was Ziph, Zipha, Tiria, and Azarel. The sons of Ezra were Jetha, Mered, Ifer, and Jalon. One of Mered's wives became the mother of Miriam, Shammai, and Ishba, the father of Eshtemoa. He married a woman from Judah who became the mother of Jered, the father of Gidor, Heber, the father of Soko, and Jekuthiel, the father of Zanoa. Mered also married Bithia, a daughter of Pharaoh, and she bore him children. Hodiah's wife was the sister of Naham. One of her sons was the father of Kelah, the Garmite, and another was the father of Eshtemoa, the Markathite. The sons of Shimon were Amnon, Rina, Ben-Hanan, and Tilon. The descendants of Ishi were Zoheth and Ben-Zoheth. Shelah was one of Judah's sons. The descendants of Shelah were Ur, the father of Lekah, Lada, the father of Maresha, the families of linen workers at Beth Ashbeh, Yochim, the men of Koseba, and Joash and Saraf, who ruled over Moab and Jeshubai Lehem. These names all come from ancient records. They were the pottery makers who lived in Netaim and Gedera. They lived there and worked for the king. The sons of Simeon were Jemuel, Jamin, Jarib, Zohar, and Shaul. The descendants of Shaul were Shalom, Mibsam, and Mishma. The descendants of Mishma were Hamuel, Zakor, and Shimei. Shimei had sixteen sons and six daughters, but none of his brothers had large families, so Simeon's tribe never grew as large as the tribe of Judah. They lived in Beersheba, Molada, Hazar Shual, Bilha, Izem, Tolad, Bethuel, Homa, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susim, Beth Biri, and Shariam. These towns were under their control until the time of King David. Their descendants also lived in Itam, Ain, Rimon, Token, and Ashan, five towns and their surrounding villages, as far away as Baal Ath. This was their territory, and these names are listed in their genealogical records. Other descendants of Simeon included Meshobab, Jamlek, Josha, son of Amaziah, Jehu, son of Joshibiah, son of Seraiah, son of Asiel, Elioenai, Yakobah, Jeshohiah, Aziah, Adiel, Jesimiel, Beniah, and Ziza, son of Shifi, son of Alon, son of Jediah, son of Shimri, son of Shemiah. These were the names of some of the leaders of Simeon's wealthy clans. Their families grew and they travelled to the region of Gerar, in the east part of the valley, seeking pasture land for their flocks. They found lush pastures there and the land was quiet and peaceful. Some of Ham's descendants had been living in that region, but during the reign of King Hezekiah of Judah, these leaders of Simeon invaded the region and completely destroyed the homes of the descendants of Ham and of the Maonites. No trace of them remains today. They killed everyone who lived there, and took the land for themselves, because they wanted its good pasture land for their flocks. Five hundred of these invaders from the tribe of Simeon went to Mount Seir, led by Palatia, Neariah, Rephiah, and Uziel, all sons of Ishi. They destroyed the few Amalekites who had survived, and they have lived there ever since. The oldest son of Israel was Reuben, but since he dishonoured his father by sleeping with one of his father's concubines, his birthright was given to the sons of his brother, Joseph. For this reason, Reuben is not listed in the genealogical records as the firstborn son. The descendants of Judah became the most powerful tribe, and provided a ruler for the nation, but the birthright belonged to Joseph. 
The sons of Reuben, the oldest son of Israel, were Hanok, Palu, Hezron, and Kami. The descendants of Joel were Shemaiah, Gog, Shimei, Micah, Reiah, Baal, and Bera. Bera was the leader of the Reubenites when they were taken into captivity by King Tiglath-Pileser of Assyria. Bera's relatives are listed in their genealogical records by their clans. Jiel, the leader, Zechariah and Bela, son of Azaz, son of Shema, son of Joel. The Reubenites lived in the area that stretches from Aroa to Nebo and Balmeon, and since they had so many livestock in the land of Gilead, they spread east towards the edge of the desert that stretches to the Euphrates River. During the reign of Saul, the Reubenites defeated the Hagrites in battle. Then they moved into the Hagrite settlements, all along the eastern edge of Gilead. Next to the Reubenites, the descendants of Gad lived in the land of Bashan, as far east as Salikar. Joel was the leader in the land of Bashan, and Shapham was second in command, followed by Janai and Shaphat. Their relatives, the leaders of seven other clans, were Michael, Meshulam, Sheba, Jorai, Jakan, Zia, and Iber. These were all descendants of Abihail, son of Huri, son of Jaroa, son of Gilead, son of Michael, son of Jeshishai, son of Jado, son of Buz. Ahi, son of Abdiel, son of Guni, was the leader of their clans. The Gadites lived in the land of Gilead, in Bashan, and its villages, and throughout all the pasture lands of Sharon. All of these were listed in the genealogical records during the days of King Jotham of Judah and King Jeroboam of Israel. There were 44,760 capable warriors in the armies of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. They were all skilled in combat and armed with shields, swords, and bows. They waged war against the Hagrites, the Jeturites, the Naphishites, and the Nodabites. They cried out to God during the battle, and he answered their prayer because they trusted in him. So the Hagrites and all their allies were defeated. The plunder taken from the Hagrites included 50,000 camels, 250,000 sheep and goats, 2,000 donkeys, and 100,000 captives. Many of the Hagrites were killed in the battle because God was fighting against them. The people of Reuben, Gad, and Manasseh lived in their land until they were taken into exile. The half-tribe of Manasseh was very large, and spread throughout the land from Bashan to Baal Hermon, Senir, and Mount Hermon. These were the leaders of their clans, Epher, Ishi, Eliel, Azrael, Jeremiah, Hodaviah, and Jadiel. These men had a great reputation as mighty warriors and leaders of their clans. But these tribes were unfaithful to the god of their ancestors. They worshipped the gods of the nations that God had destroyed. So the god of Israel caused King Pul of Assyria, also known as Tiglath-Pileser, to invade the land and take away the people of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh as captives. The Assyrians exiled them to Hala, Habor, Hara, and the Gozan River, where they remain to this day.